Welcome. This is the first video demoing the process of using OpenSSL to create a vendor signed SSL certificate. In this video, we'll be creating the CSR or certificate signing request. The first task is to collect all the needed data. This is the data that needs to go into the CSR, as well as which files we'll be using during the process. So essentially, we just need to figure out your country using a two-letter abbreviation, the state, your uh, locality or city, the organizational name, this is your company name, the organizational unit, this is your division, the, com the common name or domain name, this is the name of the site you wish to secure, and your email address. This is going to be your admin or webmaster at the site you're going to secure. These email addresses need to be in working order so that you can prove to your vendor that you are and have control of the domain that you are securing. The second task is to generate a 2048-bit key or greater uh, RSA public-private key pair. Uh, remember that this needs to be done on a secured machine. Um, and if you're going to use higher security, this would be on an air-gapped or a machine without internet or network capabilities. So we're going to open a command prompt and run as administrator so that we can correctly run OpenSSL. We're going to change into the directory that I'm going to use to keep the files. And we're going to run the OpenSSL command that generates our new key pair. So essentially, we're running OpenSSL. We're giving it the gen RSA to generate an RSA key pair. We're giving it the file where we're going to store the key pair, and we're telling it the size, 2048 bits. Once we have created the key pair, we're going to move on to the second step, which is to create a CSR request using that key pair. So we're telling OpenSSL for a request, a CSR certificate signing request, a new one. We're going to use the SHA-256 algorithm to sign it with. Where the, we identify the key pair that we just created, and we're giving it the name of the certificate or of the file to use to store the certificate signing request. This is going to ask us for the information that we required previously. So we're going to enter our country code. We're going to enter the state. We're going to enter the locality the organizational name or company name, then the uh, organizational unit name or division, your common name, and your email address. Um, it's also going to ask you for some alternative or extra attributes, which you can set up if you wish to. I'm not going to use them, so I'm just going to enter to, to move forward. So at this place, we have now created our SSR, uh, CSR, and we're going to then move on and submit that to our certificate vendor. Each vendor is somewhat different, and we're going to do that in the next video.